pulp is the thing, it's the driving force that actually brought me through at those dark, dark times when I didn't have a lot of hope. It was striving for that hope in those dark times in my life, which actually helped get me here to this place of recovery. So I know the value and the reality of hope and how hope is a motivating force that can keep us going till we all get to the places that we want to be in our life. having people around you all the time. It's having people around you through time, but then gaining the strength to be able to do things on your own. And, no and to be ain't nobody like you. Ain't nobody like us, man. So, man, I just thank God for this opportunity, and I want you to hear this, leveling up. Big facts. That's what we about to do today at Hope Rocks Festival. We about to level up, each one of us, so let's have some fun. <laughs> Hope Rocks and call him up and say, I need something to be a part of. How can I help you? And hook on to someone else's dream until you can find your own. Just today, I can't even count how many people I heard a girl pick up something from the crisis hotline and she said, This saved my life. Like that you know, that makes the whole day um, when stuff like that happens. And so, you know, the more the message gets out, the more people we can save. He's not in pain anymore because I know how bad he struggled because he talked to me about that how hard it was for him. And that broke my heart. Because as a parent, you would give your both arms and your legs, you would give what, you'd give your own life to save your kid. And I would have given my own life to save that kid. You gotta take your pride, throw it to the floor, and say, you know what, I need some help. So this song is an honest, transparent song, you know, almost like a diary from me to God, saying, yo, I need some help. All right, Ariella? How you guys doing today? This is such a beautiful event, everything that it stands for, and I feel like it means a lot to a lot of us personally. Amen. Absolutely. So we're Absolutely. here just to represent, and we're here to bring some hope to you guys today. Yeah. yeah so I'm going to play Ask You For Help. And man, I want to say, for anybody who's lost somebody in Saudi, there's a lot of suicide, a lot of things going on, man. There's hope out there. Hope rocks. It's not just a, a, a fly logo. It's not just something you put a hashtag on. You got to assemble that in your heart. Cause at the end of the day, when you're by yourself and nobody's there to help you, you're gonna need some hope. All right, let's play this. We done seen things all around the world. We done diamonds rocked with the pearls. We done big boys chasing the girls. I'm masking, I'm masking for help. We done know what it's like to bleed. We done seen all that we can see. But at the end, I end on my knees asking. Give a help for you. Hey. And if I'm honest, I need your help. I was over at hospitality, and I was told by Joe that I had somebody that was in crisis that needed to speak to me. Could I please wait and meet this man? He walks me over to this young gentleman, and this guy says to me, Do I know you? You look like you were friends with my brother. I don't know who this boy is. I don't know who his brother is. I certainly don't look like I did before when I was before pre-recovery. And uh, I don't know, sure, maybe, who's your brother? And he says, J-Bone. I'm standing shaking hands with my best friend's little brother who needs help. And I'm here today, present, stable, and able to give that to him. I sat with him and had lunch at our hospitality table for about a half an hour, and then I walked him over to his first meeting of the festival. And I introduced him to the people over there. 
and he carried on for the rest of the day here. I had a really tumultuous night sleeping last night. I had dream after dream after dream, and I know that J-Bone came to me. And I'm gonna be here for his little brother. And I'm gonna keep working this festival for people just like him. The universe provided that for me to remind me what I'm doing here. I am busy, I am tired. I have two little children, a full-time student, I have two jobs. How am I volunteering for this big weekend? <laughs> this is why I'm volunteering for this big weekend. This is why I do this. Festival to the memory of my sister Stephanie and the memory of Jillian's brother Adam. They both had amazing lives, but they were cut too short because of their struggles with addiction. My sister died this year in March, and saying goodbye to her is something that continues to be incredibly challenging every single day. And I am hoping that by singing this song, Oh Right, Oh Wrong, which I wrote for her and which I wrote for Adam. I can continue the healing process. So we're hoping that with this festival, Hope Rocks, we can break through so that there are less families that are suffering as my family is suffering now. But we are not gonna let that bring us down. I absolutely believe that our lives must carry on in the most positive, powerful way possible. And that's why I'm here with my band playing our music because Sheila D and the Dazzlers rocks and Hope Rocks. Mm. extremely important. I mean, uh, 10, 15 years ago, talking about addiction or mental health was social suicide. And, you know, fast forward 10 years and you've got this entire festival based around mental health and addiction. 
and I think it does while the stigma is definitely changing I think that there's still a long way to go but this is a hundred percent a step in the right direction as far as connecting us all on a on a human level humanistic level introduce myself appropriately here um, hello my name is Michael I'm an alcoholic and an addict and I'm a suicide survivor. So I'd like to say um, hello to all sentient beings and welcome and thank you for coming to the Hope Rocks Fest 2018. I would like to take this moment to thank Joe for all the work and all of you for the volunteers and for their dedication, their empathy, compassion, tireless work to make this event happen. I'd also like to thank all of you touched by and working to combat the disease of addiction, suicide, and mental illness. For your courage to come here today, your perseverance to continue to work to combat these afflictions, which have became an epidemic in our society and throughout the world. I stand here in awe of all the folks who through the pits of hell themselves are carrying water for those who are in crisis. I am so grateful and I appreciate all those who are standing shoulder to shoulder, helping us combat these powerful demons who don't sleep and are indiscriminate of their victims. This might nightmare is of, uh, this nightmare we are battling is fast becoming the new norm. We must work together to change this. I, eventually, I invite you to take a look around you, acknowledge and celebrate one another for your interest and perhaps even the courage to be here in this beautiful event made to make awareness of mental illness, addiction, and suicide while here inspiring hope in all of us. Use a little mercy now. I know every single one of us could use a little mercy now. I know every single one of us. Use a little mercy now And I know everybody here tonight Could use some mercy now And I know everybody here tonight Know somebody who could use some mercy now. And I know every single one of us, this is my favorite, could show a little mercy now. Amen. I know every single one of us, yeah. Show a little mercy now.
for Papa Chan, Papa, he don't know. When Mama goes at night, Papa, he don't know. Papa, he don't know. Papa, he don't know. Where you showing now and more? Papa, send his help. Everything will be alright. Papa, he don't know. Papa, he don't know. Papa, he don't know. Papa, he don't know. Papa, he don't tell me, Papa. 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 And you know, when you're in drugs, man, when you're in that world, there's, it's, it's, it has this uncanny ability for, to, to draw out people who are willing to help n nurture yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And so I've always had that, that people around me who are just like more than willing to help, you know, push that along. So I had all the drugs I needed for, for all those years. And then, seven years ago i was going to the doctor you know it, in my mind i have convinced myself i'm sober and then one day i'm going to the doctor i'm going it's legitimate i got a back issue going to the doctor this is legit yeah. you know and i go to pick up my pills one day from from the doc and i just go you know what this is i'm I'm an addict still. I'm I'm still I'm a, I'm I'm using. Yeah. So I picked up the phone, I called my wife, I said, Look, this is what's happening. My saint of a wife and I said, Look, I'm I'm gonna go in and get these pills because you can't just stop opiates. Oh yeah. I mean it'll kill you. I've yeah. tried that. So I called her, I said, Look, I'm coming home and I'm giving these to you and I gotta get clean. And uh I get choked up. Just, uh, yeah. She, I come home and she says, so we're going to get clean. We're going to get, we're going to get better. And, but this time we're going to do something different. We're going to get down to the why. Why you're self-destructive why you're built this way and so that's <clears throat> this that took what, a little work but yeah. you got there <laughs> this is what sleep deprivation does to you <laughs> makes you emotional <laughs> that's what lack of drugs and alcohol does to you yeah too. exactly <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah i'm i'm really blessed man that i was able to make it through it and i'm celebrating seven years now Woo! you know and so, to be here and to share with my people, um, whether it's, you know, people struggling with, um, there's only two kinds of people, man. There's people who are, who are broken, people who don't know they're broken. Mm -hmm. 
and um, and it's it's always the greatest part of what I do is being with with my people and sharing. The greatest joy I have in life is when I realize I'm I'm a servant, and that's I think that's why we're all really here is to figure out how we're supposed to serve others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you stay sober. Yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. Uh, really looking forward to.